Yeah, that's nothing. A very satisfying result? Yeah, of course. Um, great to run out 3-0 you know, clean sheet and some goals against the rival team tonight uh, in a packed house. So, a fantastic result, buddy. And a goal for yourself as well? Yeah, oh, please. It's been a long time since I scored in an England shirt, so, um, of course, always a proud moment. And, it's been a long time, so it felt good. And three England headers to win. Is yeah, that part of the grand plan? Which is rare. We've worked a lot this week, to be fair, on uh, like final third entries and been a bit more ruthless uh, in situations. So I thought that come to light a little bit. You know, the finishing was excellent. Uh, random that it was three headers, but nevertheless, yeah. And the coach must be very pleased at full time. Talk talking to you afterwards. Yeah, he was uh, delighted you know, with the result. Then, uh, and at the second half performance, I thought. Uh, more than the first, in the first half, was a few areas um, a little bit sloppy at times. So I'm sure that's something we'll touch upon in the next few days. But he was pleased with the second half um, and the way that we controlled the game. Second half, we grew into the game. Um, we started to dominate and play some good stuff. Do you think what happens in the Spain game should have any bearing on the decision of being more competitive? Or just it's done what you set out to do and you're in a good spot in the group? Yeah, ultimately it's about the. It's about the movement, it's about body power, it's about the points in the ball. You know, the ball was, was that game, was that important game. Uh, I'm sure that, that the Spain game won't have any impact. I'm sure that the way that all the, the way they'll take the decision will, will not be affected by that game alone. And uh, the is going to be so. But let's see, it's how that control. We just keep giving everything we can for him. Keep working and taking on his, uh, his ideas on the train. The if the decision makers were to ask the players, would it be a resounding yes, we want him? They wouldn't ask us. But if they did, you know, <laughs> you guys are all behind him, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, of course. We've enjoyed the, we've enjoyed the, we've enjoyed the, the week. I think uh, difficult last, the last time we were almost kind of thrown together it's under difficult circumstances. This one's been a lot calmer, it's been a lot better. He, he's got, you know, he's started to get his points across now in, in the training. Uh, and it's important that we buy into that and keep going. Uh, and like I said, give everything we can for him and then the rest is out of hand. And what are the positives that he brings beyond what we see on the pitch? What, what do you see that is positive that Gareth is adding here? Um, one of the positive things I, I see is uh, he's been there. He's been, a, he's been an England player. He's been to major tournaments. Uh, he has his experience, so he knows what it is. He knows how the players are feeling. He knows, he knows the pressure that you're under when you're on playing in an England shirt. Um, so he can relate. He can relate very close to no Cheers, Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. To, to, to work with. Uh, I think it's a bit it's, it's a bit unfair it's the players that end the on the pitch. And uh, I think uh, it's, it, for, for, for me, the gaffer has is, is, been a breath of fresh air for Scotland. Well, just brought you in, that's true. You're facing you willing to see the criticism and the pressure that's coming this week? You know, um, we live in this sort of football world, you know, if you if you have a, a result, two or three games, you know, if, if nobody's exempt from, from criticism, but you know, the, the gap has been around for, for a long time, he knows how to deal with it, and he knows he's got the backing of his players, so you know, he's, he's lovely and is, 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 is uh, as good as ever. Are you convinced he will stay? You know, that's his decision, you know, um, personally I would like him to, you know, and, and I know a lot of the guys would as well, but you know, everybody's got their own circumstances and it's, it's totally up to them. Has he made any a different role for you? How did you enjoy the, the, the role of the right and, and, and the game in itself? No, you know, um, the gap pulled me during the week and uh, we were obviously wary about uh, England's uh, speed on the, on the wings, obviously with Sterling. I know Rashford and Walker can get on, but obviously they got they got a lot of they, they got a lot of speed. And you know he he, he said if, if if I would be comfortable there, you know, and I played there a couple of times with Watford last last year, you know, and uh, I think we, we we did that to a certain extent, you know. I don't think Rose managed to form him to forward, and I think Lee did well on the other side, you know. I don't think Walker had that many that many adventures forward as they do with Spurs, you know, in in England normally. So you know, I think from that point of of view, it sort of worked. Frustrating. Yeah, definitely, you know. We came here, like I say, I think if you guys were here, you saw the game, I don't think it's between there was a fair reflection, but this is probably, this is where England are a bit more clinical, you know, they get these chances and uh, they take them. The beauty but, of it, you've got a chance to get them back at Hamden in June. Yeah, you know, this this is this is a beautiful game of football, you know, you're always, you're always just one game away from redeeming yourself and we're going to we're gonna go into that game with, with, with a lot of hope and we're going to try and win that. No, you know, I'm just fully focused on, on Scotland. So you're yeah, checking the game tomorrow against Algeria? No, you know, I'm just focused on Scotland. Thank you. Thank you, guys.